There is an atmosphere about the place that draws you to it. And once it gets under your skin, it doesn't let go, you know? You, you speak to any of the locals and they believe in fairies. Well, I've, I have dived in the tropics. I prefer what I, I find in these waters. These creatures are, are just on our doorstep within easy reach of the shoreline in two or three foot of water. And, and for me, it's, it's just raising awareness to, to get protection. I've learnt to see so many of these creatures and some of them are, are no bigger than the end of my fingertip. Um, and every single one of them is beautiful in its own right. Sea hares are a form of sea slug. They're really charismatic, very, very funny creatures. And um, despite being a slug, they've got eyes, so they can see you. Rightly so, we protect our whales and dolphins and sharks. But without these tiny little creatures, they, they will not survive because of the food, you know, the way the food chain works. And often this is an area that's forgotten about. And it's where all of the debris and plastics wash up on and uh, people are walking along there, they're walking through the water, you know, paddling and what have you. And there's, there's a multitude of, of creatures that are just living on the seabed in maybe one or two foot of water. The exhibition is definitely to try and raise awareness. Obviously, it's to showcase the, you know, the, the photography as part of it. At least we've, we, you know, you can only do what you can do, and we're doing it on a small scale. And you know, if there were more projects like ours around the country, around the world, then it would all add up to helping to to sort of, you know, raise awareness of what we are doing to the oceans. I mean, the, the, things are going in the right direction on Sky with one of the schools, for instance, in that they've created an ocean school and they've ad adopted a little bay just by their school. They've bought the kids wetsuits. So if we can start educating the young kids of today, then, you know, they're the people that are going to be taking it forward tomorrow, aren't they? So